Gunnar Henderson yeah. was four for four, two singles, two home runs, five RBI, heading into the fifth. I think what blew me away last night, and I, I know Yonder, I'm sitting there dialed in on that game. First A.B., and I know Paul O'Neill does a great job with the Yes Network. Michael Kay was like staying behind that baseball. Man, I thought Gunner was like, boop, <laughs> clipped it like just defense hack. Yeah. 340 down the left field line. Pretty special Zero, stuff. If I get a hit my first at bat, it's either a one for four with three Ks or we're going bridge. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be yeah, very – I'm not trying to get another base game. hit the other way. But – with Gunner, you talk about what he's done, his season splits, and, and, and this is a board that how can you not love what you're doing? First 42 games, not so good, mm. right? Wasn't really hitting the fastball, was chasing a little bit, didn't really like that strikeout rate. Yeah. He, was, he was walking a lot. He was getting, you know, his still his walks, which we're going to get a, into in a little bit here, but the slugging for me was the hit. 354 to 579 last 34 games. But I remember watching him the first time, Dero, at the Futures game. And I said, man, like, you look at his mechanics, you look at his batting practice, first round, left center gappers, second, third round, going bridge center to right center, and everything was smooth, right? He was taking his pitches, and everything was soft. You can tell how connected he was with his backside. And I was like, you're going to the Futures game, you're first at bat, you're swinging first pitch or second pitch. No Guarantee doubt. it. And, and you see him gets into a 3-1 count, gets a walk, second at bat, once again, 2-1 on a Round tough ball, lefty. Short hey, sneaky, really good athlete. I was reading a little bit. I was going into a hole with him, and I was like, man, let me see how his swing was in high school. That's a little perfect game. Still got that good backside. Look at, his, look at his swing, right? High school swinging, still got the same approach, still yep. got that same mechanics. It's crazy to see the best hitters in our game how their mechanics don't change. Big now we look at now, this man. right here. Uh, battered ball splits right here. What he's doing with his hard hit percentage. I mean, that's that's a big. This right here and this right here in the big leagues, that's hard to do as a rookie, as a young gunner. But this is the beauty of the constant tinkering and adjusting, right? So for me, when I'm going right, I would think up the middle the other way. He's lit up when he started pulling the ball a little bit more. It's that constant adapter die we were talking about with Yelich in the A block. I think for me, it's mechanics. I think for me, it's the mindset. I think his clock is finally catching up to the speed of the game and understanding that I can take advantage of good counts because he has such a good eye and we can roll it. I mean, we he can see what he did yesterday. Last night. But it was all good counts. First two pitches, he's hunting. He wants to go bridge. Then after that, it's simplicity. I talked to him last night after the game and I go, hey, how simple is your swing, man? Backside, always connected, trying to hit the ball out of the yard, but always trying to get a good pitch. And he said to me, that's the plan. That's what I'm trying to do at all times. But you see him right there, 2-0 count, 9 nothing game. Why am I going to try to get a base hit the other way? This is Gunner's time. This is my time. Pause it right here. Now, we talk about simple move. how simple his stuff is. Yeah. But what I noticed with him is his, his lower half. The best ones have the best lower half, and more than not, they all look the same. I mean, if you can just take a white paper and just cut them off completely and just look from his knees down, you're gonna compare them to the best. Judges, the Tatis, the Sotos, the you know Arias. Yeah. And you can play this right here, but he talks to me about anchoring. I see anchor on the backside, I see anchor on the front side. Mm -hmm. And what that means is you're really connected with your lower half and you're really connected with the ground. The ground is where everything comes, right? All that power is where it all comes. A-Rod. You don't leak. There's no leaking. You remember A-Rod? Yeah. A-Rod could hit a ball. I felt like you could put a chair. It's stuck. And he'd just go, boop. He stuck. Sit right there. Stuck. Like, when you can do that, that that's when you know yeah. you're doing something. And you're behind the baseball. His head, d never moves. His head is, like, stuck on a hat. And you can play this, and you can see how, how connected he is and how through the baseball he gets. That's why he swings at the best pitches right now. That's why he's so locked in. You look at this, anchored. Front side anchored to get the back side through. Keep going. Nobody's core fires like him. But he's anchored. Bow. Arise, anchored. He gets there on time. And you see the flexion with the knee. Front side knee flexion. Stop it right here. You see that right there? That move right there? Yeah. That's flexion. That's anchored. That You, you get there. You get there. There, from here, I'm locked. Now I can throw my backside. I, I can really throw it as hard as I can. 
that's what I'm seeing with the great, great ones. That's what I'm seeing with Gunner right now. I mean, did look at this guy. You talk about lower half extension right here. Tatis, same thing. How, how they do it, it, it is, for me, the impressive part. But to see a, this young kid coming to the league right now, making the adjustments, catching up to, to the game, and having that anchor. And for, the, you know, for everybody at home, you have those mechanics are flawless, but that's the reason why you're able to lay off pitches like that. Yeah. That's the reason. And then you go to work. You get good pitches to hit 1-0, middle in. You're going bridge, left center. Hello. Man, if you're I'm, feeling good. If I'm an Orioles fan, I couldn't be more fired up. I mean, the next five, eight, maybe ten years, you got straight studs. Oh, yeah. Position players coming. But, but, but I do want to talk about how do you get there? And I, I don't want to teach it. Oh, God. Right? We got to teach it. We got to get somewhere. Come on now. Uh -oh. Put this bad boy on. Uh oh. For kids what at home, what put it mean? on by your hips. <laughs> there we go. This looks Little like, sort of like a for bad you. remake of Pulp Fiction. All right, <laughs> and this is the key. The key here is that home. You put a T, right? You can a put a T, you can put a T right here, and you want to feel what backside is all about, and you're going to go take your swing, nice and slow motion, and the guy that's back here is pulling, pulling you back. Oh, I would love that. You got to pull I, I back. I mean, would someone have shown, could, one of pull my coaches back. has shown me the hip coil back in Boom, the Boom, right there. Now you're stuck from right there. Oh. Boom. Boom, yeah, now I can just I could sit right here. I did not hit That's like that. That's the feel. That's the feel. And then you do about 10 or 15 of those, 10 or 15 of those, and you take it off, and then you kind of mentally still feel like you have this band still there, but all of a sudden there is no band, yeah. and you're not going forward, and you're just, boom, you're exploding. Gunnar Henderson, man, he's going to have a big year. Robert, you do that drill a lot. Yeah, uh, Yonder, could I have that device? I'm going we'll to take it home for my birthday. Plane. Let's go, I'm going to take it home for the birthday. Uh, all right. Yonder, you got medie medieval on that breakdown there. Great stuff. Good job.